Alright, Evan. Did you find anything? If you finish checking everything, Roland. Oh, done. Alright, let's go find the others. It's cutting time. Alright. I think I read up on the history of pretty much every major nation in your world. There's not a lot of them, then. This place sure has seen its fair share of wars, although I guess that's true of my world, too. But the stuff... If this stuff is anything to go by, the only way to stay clear of all fighting would be to have no contact whatsoever with any other country, period. I... I attain precisely the jolliest of conclusions, but it sounds about right to me. Hmm... Roland, I've been thinking, what if we could unite the world? Conquer it! Enslave them! <clears throat> no. If our world were one big country, well, there would be no one to fight, would there? Yeah! Of course, that's an amazing idea. You're a genius! Uh... Sure, unite the world, but there'd be no one left to fight. It would certainly put an end to war. But look at these books and read what they're saying. Nobody in history has ever come close to what you're proposing. Hmm. <laughs> oh, she's back. Mm. Yes. Oh, yes, they have. Yes. <laughs> really? Badly's going to give us some, uh, some wisdom. Ferdinand. Mighty Ferdinand. Yes. Name dropping the chapter. He wrote a great treaty, declaration of interdependence, got it all to sign them. Great big countries, teeny weeny countries, all of them, yes. He was a hero, my hero, so handsome. <laughs> That's amazing, so someone has done it before. Huh? But I just read every history book in here. You've read four, and none of them have so much mentioned his name. Well, of course not. It's top secret. Only special people know him. <laughs> people I can easily trick. King Ferdinand. Alright, everyone. Let's head back home and decide what we're going to do next. Are you not going to ask about him? Like, what happened? We need to think more about this banner of ours. Serious, more details are needed in that story, Evan. Come on! More leap book books. Uh, all the children in Evermore love their teacher, Yuki Kan. She's so kind and sweet, there's nothing they won't do for them. Being a kid is great. I wish life was still that simple. Oh, Not that being a grown-up was terrible. Carpe diem, dog. Who's this guy? Uh, Chai Pai. Here's the next install in my series. He's a master carpenter. I pictured someone a little bit more flamboyant. I've seen him cut through stone like it was butter. I saw him lift a log like it was a matchstick. Cut through stone like a butter. He's not a mason. A swift solution hits the road. Uh, wherever you go, people always need a helping hand. That's why I've decided to take swift solutions on the road. Look for me and all my important quest boards in your travels. You may be able to find help... Fre uh, fresh talent in your fledging kingdom. Tent, tent. Okay. Uh, wait. What's that? It's a, was that that guy that said the casino? Because that's a new mark. Let's check that out. Yeah, there it is. It's that dude. Alright, hey dude. Oh, hello. Uh, hello there, my young friend. I'd like to help people. I can see you from a mile off. Uh, if I'm not very much mistaken, this is your first time here at Swift Solutions, correct? Oh, well, um, you've asked for it now. My lecture about this- oh god, a lecture. <sighs> here we go again. Well, this fine establishment is famous the world over for its length and density. <laughs> Breathe deep now. Yes. yes. What voice was that? What the hell? Swift Solutions are as where people from all over the world come when they have something they need doing. From the smallest favour to the grandest quest, they all come through us. A bird board. Those who carry these errands are rewarded with lovely little coins called tokens of gratitude. They're really quite uh, incredible. And when you've collected enough of them, you can trade them to me for special prizes or for hints on where to find new citizens to recruit for your kingdom. That'd be handy. 
and you'll certainly be wanting to employ the latter service. There are plenty of people in the world who only come to Evermore through me. That's... What's... What's that I hear, you ask? What happens if I finish all the tasks Swift Solutions has to offer? Ho ho! That's like asking what will happen when the sun stops shining. People always need favors doing. So if you happen to finish all the tasks I have to offer, just wait a little while. More than will be along soon enough. And that's pretty much the gist of what we do here. Uh, shall we say it's more me, really? I man all of our branches, you see. Don't ask how. It's a trade secret. You only exist when the protagonist is around. Alright, that's enough from me. Uh, it's time to run an errand or two. Welcome to Swift Solutions. Mm. Alright, let's see what you got. Oh my god. Uh, I can do this one. 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 <clears throat> uh, I can do this one. I'm gonna turn these in right now. Can't do that one yet. I can do this one. Let's report these. An achievement, errand boy. Oh, don't know if I have to do that for everyone. Yep. All right. <clears throat> so that's that one done. <clears throat> Let's go to new citizen. Ooh. Nice. I can just get these guys straight off the bat. Uh, one of Gopal's best trainee guards, and these are the pop what is going to come the world's finest spear winners. A fine addition to your army. Interesting. Mm, kind teacher. Ah. She's interested in moving to Evermore, but she hasn't quite worked out with your king just yet. You better go talk to her. Alright. He escaped the kingdom, now he works as Master Sharpay in the Iron Orchard. Yeah. Let's get him. I can probably get all of them, to be honest. Let's take on the rest of these tasks and we'll slowly complete those as we go. Excellent. Now we should oh, by the way. have lots of more people we can recruit in Golden Paw. So let's go pick those guys up. Thank ah, there she is. Much. Hello, Evan. Thank you so much for dragging Gaojie away from the casino. He's so cool back then, you know, when he was a general. But then he got injured and had to retire. He used to play with me whenever I asked, but after that he basically ignored me. I had been really worried about him, and now you're helping him out. I think he might be on the way to becoming old self again. Uh, I did hear he was leaving Gopal, though. Do you know where he went? He's gone to your kingdom? Oh, lucky you! Is there any chance I might be able to come to your kingdom, too? I'm sure I'd love it. I'm a skilled spear user already. I am already getting better every day. So I'll be sh it'll be safer to have me on board. Yes. I'll be handy to have a spear. A spear uh, contingent. Big rigged statue. What's this? Was this here before? Yeah, must have been. Uh, you. Yeah. I talked to the wrong guy. Hey 
Greetings. I am uh, Chapey. Chapey. All right, I'm Chapey, the greatest carpenter in all of Golden Ball. Wait, I know you. You're the young pup who founded the New Kingdom, aren't you? I've heard a lot about you. You've got spirit. I admire that. And you've the look of a kind. And you've the look of the kind of timber I okay. could work with too. Very well. If it's recruits you're after, I'm with you, boy. Uh, most whelps you raise are too scared to look me in the eye, but if there's something I like about you, I'm in. Now let's run along and build us a kingdom to beat all kingdoms, shall we? Alright. Uh, he just hands me a hammer too. I'll take that. So, If anyone gives you any trouble, just say the word. Me and my hammer will whack them into size in no time. Alright. Uh, there she is. <clears throat> Oh, hello there. Your name is Evan, isn't it? The children have told me a great deal about you. They say you've been helping people all over Goldpaw. What a lovely young man you must be. Uh, there's no need to blush. It's important to praise a child when he does well. Now, is there something you wanted to talk to me about? You want me to come to your kingdom? Evan, surely you're not the king Evan ever was talking about. What a stroke of good fortune. I would be delighted to become one of your subjects, Your Majesty. Uh, okay. Lunicorn. Okay. Okay, so we have her, and where are the other people we can recruit? Are oh, they way down the pond? Yeah, well, let's go and pick them up. And I get the last one. Was it this woman? Hey there. Uh, yes, I've been hearing a lot about you. and People help so much. Uh, to come to the aid of many at such a young age, that's no mean feat. Children like you deserve support and friendship. Is there anything I can do to help? Please let me know. Hmm, would you like me to come and live with your new kingdom? I must say, I did not expect that. Uh, I did not expect that at all. Yes. Oh, hey, she gave me silver nuggets. So now I can give Thank that you to... Thank very much. Um, uh, Fido. That was his name. Wait, where was Fido? He was on up here, wasn't he? He was over... Yeah, there he is. You know, a lot of recruits. This is great. Yeah. Uh, bring me those nuggets, and I can help you in your kingdom. Here you go. You handed over three silver nuggets. Hello! Here you are. We brought you the three nuggets of silver, just like you asked. Will you be able to repair your tools now? Uh, what? Yes, this will be perfect, thank you. Now you can come to your kingdom, just as promised. Aye. Aye, that's grand. I hope your grandpappy finally sees for what you really are, lad. I hope so too. My plan is to produce the finest armor in all the world. That way he will surely have to acknowledge my talent and dedication. Of course he will, Fido. I sent uh, I uh, he'll see sense before too long, I'm sure of it. Alright. So I think that's all I can do in Gold Paul for now. Oh, I could have just looked in the other areas. So let's double check my quests. Side quests. Oh, he's got a new one. Uh... Oh, I've got another one I can hand him. A shimshar, quick worries, and some pieces of scarily armor. So those two, I'll leave and get them done later. This one I can hand in now because I'll probably accidentally sell this armor later. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, let's do that. And then we'll head back. Okay, so we spent some time faffing around the kingdom. <clears throat> so let's save and actually get back to the quests. I'd like to start taking things, talking things over right away, but you have kingly duties to attend to. Why don't you catch up with the things here and then come to speak to me when you're done? I just did that. Literally just spent the last 15 minutes organizing and building my kingdom. Alright. Let's move on. So. What's next? Are you ready to get the show on the road? Yes. All right, I'll go round everybody up, because we're gonna go do some things. Roland, wait. 
There are a few things I'd like to speak to you about first. All right. That will be interesting. Don't like that music. Let's begin, shall we? Let's I've begin. You all here to all speak about our nation's voice act this one. The cause we mean to unite under and to work toward together. Evan proposes that we create a country without war. I'd like to talk about the concrete measures we'll need to take in order for that to happen. First and foremost, we'll need to sign a treaty with the other major nations of the world, effectively forming a single united realm. We propose to call think. this treaty the Declaration of Interdependence. I've taken the liberty of drawing up a preliminary version. The page is blank. That's not a preliminary version, that's blank paper. The Declaration will be our banner, the cause for which we fight. I like it! But won't that dollar an idiot be trying to mess things up in other countries, like he did in Goldpool? Fair point. You think that's highly likely, yes. But we can't worry about that right now. All we can do is visit each nation in turn and try to convince them to sign up. You're really thinking of doing this? You realize it's a fool's errand now, don't you? Thanks for the vote of confidence, Button. Sure, this plan of yours is a noble one, and a fine banner for an up-and-coming kingdom to unite under. But you're about as likely to get all the nations of the world to sign your little pact as I am to grow a third blasted leg. Don't say that. We can do this. Says the man who just strolled in from who knows where. Don't need to be putting these daft ideas in their heads. To be fair, this is the most reasonable point that has been made so far in relation to Roland. Nobody knows where he's from, but he is practically guiding Evan from Van. And what so would you know about running a country? Bojo huh? is right to be suspicious of him. Stop it! I don't know if we can do this, but it doesn't matter. I want to do it in. You what now? I've realized something. <clears throat> now that we've been to all these places and met all these people, I don't just want to do it for Nella. I want to do it for myself. For all of us. I really do want to make a world where everyone can be happy. And I don't God, care why does if we have to blink. Succeed. It's weird. That's no reason to give up. That's right. Of course, it won't be easy getting all of the countries of the world to sign our agreement. But if there's even a chance of success, I have to try. Uh, what's the bets? The first person we're gonna go to is Goldpaw. Back again. <sighs> How can a man say no to such a speech, lad? I'm with you, your majesty. Come what may. And again, Batu is very easily swayed by Evan. Let us start with an easy one first, then. Huh? I reckon gold paw Call sign it. up, man. Gold paw first. Yeah, provided Pugnacious isn't the grudge-bearing type. Good. Then it's decided. We will unify the world. Just as Ferdinand once did. Yeah, we still haven't pointed out what went wrong with Ferdinand's plan. Nice if the weird librarian lady had pointed that part out. Alright, so if we have to go back to Gold Paul, I reckon we could, if I push the right button, do this one first. And do the little side quest, and then we can get that guy who was moping around to join us. Uh, ah, there we are. This might be the boss. Welcome. I suppose you can't buy some of my wares, have you? Well, you've come at a bad time. I've not to sell you. Excuse me. 
Excuse me, we were told that a merchant and his bodyguard were attacked by bandits in this area. Would you happen to know more uh, happen to know anything about that? Ah, there, I was thinking you were customers. I don't know about this traveler of yours, nor the bandits either, but there's a merchant who passes through these pots quite often enough. He usually hires a fellow traveler to act as his bodyguard too. Rumor has it he offers discounts on his wares in exchange for services rendered. That must be the merchant Tobias was talking about. Uh, do you happen to have any idea where he might have gone? Well, the last I saw him, he was headed towards Crookneck Cavern. He could do worse than to head over there and look for the swab. Mm. Crookneck Cavern. All right. Thank you very much. I think that's that cave I uh, looked into earlier on in the game, and it was completely empty. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's right there. Right there. Yeah, sure. Instead of running all the way through there, we could get here quicker. Yep. And there's also this area up here, which we couldn't access before, which we might be able to now, because we have the bridge. Uh, or not. Wait, right, maybe over there. Let's give it a try. These monsters are all low level, so they're not gonna bother us. Right? Yeah. No. Darn. Oh well. Let's just run on round then. <laughs> 